Great God day to you all, and welcome back to the next video in the Lose Your History to Make History series. I want to start off today with one of my favorite quotes that I've ever heard from Dr. Wayne Dyer. If you haven't dove into his material, heavily encourage you to. You can grab anything and it's going to change your life. But the quote is incredibly simple and it's incredibly profound. Only do good things not bad things. Only do good things, not bad things. I encourage each and every one of you to look at your definition of what it means to become the greatest version of yourself. And I also re-invite you to look at the top three things that sound most like you from the 16 personalities test. And when you combine that definition along with the three things that make you uniquely you, you'll quickly see what the good things are and you'll quickly see what the bad things are. The first day I went and I volunteered in the prison and I was sharing all the love and spreading the love and mentoring these people. I, uh, you know, I left there and I, it was about as happy as I've ever been. And I've been happy a lot, but this was like a new level of happiness. It was just loving people who, could never do anything for me, most likely, and just loving without expectation. It was an amazing feeling, but I believe in a effective life is a reflective life. So I went home that night, and I started kind of journaling down my feelings, talking with my circle of influence, and sharing everything. And what we ended up discussing is that in this life we live, People spend so much time pursuing things that don't matter. Um, and I won't go into details there, and I'll maintain what Kaylee asked me to do of staying gentle. But ask yourself, and everything you do, is what I'm about to do going to matter? Is what I'm about to do going to matter in a year or a hundred years from now? And start asking yourself that. And how so much hurt in so much anger, in so much aggression, uh, comes from pursuing things that don't matter and spending time. Uh, had a family member not too long ago, uh, you know, they're a bar hopper. They, they go on pub crawls, which is, you know, it's, it's completely disgusting behavior, but they came back from one of these pub crawls and they go, can you believe what happened? Somebody bit me. And I, I bit my tongue, but I thought, yeah, there's a bunch of people in a group that are pursuing killing brain cells and killing their lives and surrounding themselves with codependence. So no, I'm not shocked by that at all, I thought to my head there. But that was one of those moments where I asked myself if I could cast light and I knew I couldn't, so I just zipped it up. But you've got your definition of greatest version of self. You've got the gifts that sound like you from the 16 personalities exam. Now the third part of this, which is going to forever influence the way that you make decisions, is identifying to yourself what is truly important to you in your life. Uh, Kaylee and I have done a couple videos on the priority drill, and she will link one of those down in the description, most likely, and that is something you can go back and view. And I don't even actually use that myself. I use, for me, it's called the three bucket drill. I like life nice and simple. So every morning when I'm thinking about that quote of only doing good things, not bad things, I think about my three buckets. My first bucket is my special project with Kaylee, who's behind the camera right now. Am I going to love this project some way today that moves it forward and spreads its reach. So I keep my focus there. I make sure I bring my three gifts that I shared in the earlier video there, empathy, development of others, and leaving people better off. And then I go into my second bucket. And that is my company, uh, along with some other amazing people, the Dream Leader Institute. Am I going to do something good for the Dream Leader Institute today that will expand its outreach, that will leave the world a better place, and then I go into my third bucket, 
which is all of my relationships. Nothing is more important to me than all of my relationships. So I run through each and every one of them and I ask myself, do they all know how much I love them? Is there anything that I need to heal in this relationship? And if any of them were going to be gone from this earth next week, would I be doing anything differently? And to be the greatest version of myself, there cannot be an answer to that question. So I wake up every morning, I look at my three buckets, and I remember, only do good things, not bad things. And if you can wake up tomorrow and remember to only do good things and not bad things, you will get out of your own metaphorical porta potty, which is a less than stellar life. You will leave the world a better place. And very importantly, you'll find that all of the happiness in the world comes from within. Only do good things, not bad things. We'll see you next week. If you choose to get upset over things that don't matter, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself because life is about love. Please hit like, subscribe, and share.